Hey Daisies, this is Tiffany Valentine. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm going to make a card. Um, it's about four and a half, uh, no, I'm sorry, four and one fourth by six inches. And I'm just showing you right now all the things I'm going to be putting on the card. So these are uh, some bits and pieces. And um, I will jump in, um, and then sometimes I'll be silent. So I'm just showing you uh, the heart punches that I used. Um, this is a punch from Martha Stewart, and the other smaller heart punch, I'm not sure where I got that one from. Um, it might have been Target a long time ago. Um, so first, I was mostly interested in the or what drew my eye first was the pocket card that says have a good day and a better tomorrow i have a friend that is you know coming through uh, a tough time and so i thought she would enjoy a card so basically i took that floral paper and i folded it in half and i trimmed that card down um, and I'll have the measurements in the um, in the description of this video, so you'll have the exact measurements. But it's basically like a three by three. I cut it down. I punched out the heart, and I just um, put some tape on it to adhere it to the front. And then the scalloped heart is going to go on the back, um, also. And I think I start out trying to put tape on it, but then I end up just some scotch tape, and then I ended up using a tape runner on the back um, because it, it just was easier to um, get on the card. So what I like about the hard punches is there are two different sizes. So there's the smaller heart that uh, you see me trying to put on now, and then the scalloped heart is bigger. Um, and so it kind of frames the other heart. So that's what I like about that. So, um, I am going to use this little tape runner and then put this on the back. And then I think I'm going to be adding flags to the back of it. And the flags I am going to be using, um, I just made by hand. I didn't have a punch or anything for those. And, oh, oh I also thought I'd note that that mustard colored cardstock is just card uh, cardstock from my stash. I think I got it from Michael's. So I cut out that flag ahead of time. And then um, I also am going to be using the mint uh, mint green polka dot paper. Um, and that's papers from the planner kit. And I already um, had sketched it out. And um, again, I'll put the measurements um, in the description. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out right now and then uh, start adhering them together. And I just, you know, sketched it out on the back in pencil. And I made a little triangle there <laughs> ahead of time so I would know where to, um, you know, cut, make the cuts. Now I'm just going to uh, check and see how, what, how I want the placement of the flags to be. And so I'm just going to pos position it till I like it. 
And then you'll also see me, um, I will end up trimming um, part of the card um, because it, I felt it was a little bit long. And I'm using this magnetic board that kind of helps. I'm so bad at measuring things and keeping things straight, but at least this board helps me. Um, you know, those magnets keep things in place and help me do a little better job <laughs> of getting things straight. Again, I don't know about you, but I, I kind of freak out about measuring stuff, so it takes me a little while. So I think I stopped the tape and, and then um, started again <laughs> once I had taped those down with scotch tape. And I'm going to trim one of the flags there. Um, and I, I don't have the flags lined up in the same place and that's why I needed to, to cut them. Then I found scotch tape worked pretty well on the back just to, to um, tape everything down. I, I also taped the heart as well. And then I'm going to add um, some foam tape, um, some dimensional tape. Um, I usually save everything and you know I get these foam foam dimensional tape dots I think I got them from Michaels and once I'm done with the dots I save the the other parts as well and so I think I hope this is coming up where I, I'm going to be sticking it on there yeah there it is so you know I not only use those dots on other projects of the holes that you see missing there but then I also use use the rest of it and so it's a nice cushion for that car for the um, journal card to stick up and then basically um, I'm going seven seven eighths seven eighths of an inch up from the bottom of the card and then one and one fourth inch over from the left of the card. So I had already made some pencil marks so I would know where to place it. But I'm probably still gonna double check it here anyway. <laughs> and that ruler that you saw um, is um, an EK Tools ruler that I got at Hobby Lobby that says all the measurements um, um, of an inch, you know, one sixteenth, one eighth, three sixteenth, etc. I'm really bad at that, so I love having this flex the, the flexible ruler. That's what that's what I was using to make sure that my dimensions were were correct. And then this particular ruler is a is a is a magnet as well, and so it's going to hold the card in place so that. Once I stick the journal card down, it'll be in the kind of in the right place. I'll just put it to you that way. <laughs> it may not be exact, exact, but it helps me to kind of keep things, gives me a boost to, to getting things where I want them to be. I'll, I'll put it that way. I'm, I'm really bad at measuring and keeping things straight. So I have a few different rulers that kind of help me, you know, make sure of what I'm doing. So I'm going to tear off this tape here 
and then um, there's tape on both sides so I'm just gonna stick it to the back of the card first and then make sure I'm positioned it's positioned in the right way and then um, I'll take the other part of the tape off the, or the tape covering off And that's the inside of the card. And I pre-cut some vellum uh, out ahead of time. And I'll leave those measurements in the comments too. And I am gonna punch uh, the edge of it and then write a message out to my friend and then washi tape it into the card. And I always look through at the back of the punch so I can line things up correctly to try to have a continuous punch going. Um, and then, as you can see at the top, I'm going to just trim that off uh, with scissors. And then coming up, I had two different kinds of pens to try. One of the pens, the Tombow pen, came from the Planner Classified kit. And I did a test run with the Sharpie and then the Tombow pen. And I ended up liking the Tombow pen a lot better. So um, that's what I went with. And I will be writing my message in shortly and then kind of showing you what uh, my pen test looked like. So I found the Sharpie, um, I just had to keep the pen moving really fast, otherwise it would bleed a little bit. Um, so I ended up loving the uh, this pen that came in the Planner Classified Kit. So I'm going to write out a quick message to my friend. And another reason I love this board is because it already has lines on it. I think you guys already know, I've already mentioned that I am measurement challenged. <laughs> so I've got the lines there that I can see. And I'm not totally psyched about my handwriting here. I've had a few cups of coffee and when I do that, my hands aren't as smooth, but hey, you know, it's the thought that counts. So I'm going to go ahead and washi tape this inside the card. Uh, oh, that's coming up next. I'm, that's, that's coming up at the end. But first, I have used this stamp, and I'm doing a 3 by 4 card of that, I'm, that I am measuring out on white cardstock. And I'm going ahead and stamp these images. And this is a stamp that you can buy. I'll link to it. And this is what it looks like. Um, you can see here, I put a pink piece of paper under it and stamped at the stamped on the edges. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, cut it out. And this is just to include in the card so that my friend can do some coloring. Because, hey, this is it's all about doodles and dashes. I'm keeping with the kit theme. And this Tombow pen is great. I didn't get the best. I got a pretty good impression, actually. But where I was missing, I went ahead and filled in the lines with the pen. So it came in, in handy for that. Alrighty. So that's good to go for my friend.
And now I'm just going to go ahead and um, get some washi tape going. And just stick it down there. And I like the vellum because you can see through to the back of the card. So um, I just like that effect. And I really love this leaf washi tape. And, you know, I'll be linking to all the kit items in my description of this video. Now I'm going to add this in for my friend and washi tape it in with a little note that she can color it. And then I bought some envelopes from Hobby Lobby. I believe they're A7 size. And um, I'm just going to slip it in and mail it to her. And I want to, I think I'm going to show you the envelope. And thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. This is something you can do. It's really simple. And if you're a first time subscriber to Coco Daisy, please Mention my name in the comment section when you order Tiffany Valentine and you'll get a discount on a future purchase. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. You have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.